Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I talk about a number of issues, and people sometimes write to me and ask me to talk about an issue, and today's one of those days where I'm going to talk about something that somebody wrote to me about. Now, a young man, um, he's Jamaican, lives in the UK, um, he's been sending stuff to Jamaica, and what's happening is, is that either when it arrives, they're charging extra money on it, and the person's not getting it, or there's some kind of corruption going on. And he really wants to highlight it. He said he sent a phone over to Jamaica. He only paid £30 for the phone. It was a second-hand phone. It was a Motorola. And it was, he was sending it to a friend who would have appreciated it. Um, so he was told there'd be no duty to pay on it. So he sent it off to the post office. When, he, when it arrives the other side, the person who's supposed to be picking it up has to pay duty of twelve thousand jamaican dollars that's 71 uk pounds and that's more than what he paid for the phone the sad thing is is that when you buy things when you send things abroad it is very a touch and a miss, touch and miss whether or not you're going to have to pay customs it depends on who it falls in now i i bought stuff from america before and it said, you know, free shipping, it said, £6.85 for these supplements. And over here, it was like £23 for the supplement. So I thought, I'll get it from the shop in America. And it's free shipping, so that's fine. So I got two, um, two, two containers of it. Only, you know, it's about 365 tablets. And I think they would have cost me about £6.85. Anyway, when I went to go and pick them up, I nearly had to pay £40 on top of it because of customs. Now, I'd got it before and I had to ha didn't have to pay anything. But on this occasion, I had to pay. And I was totally peed off because it wasn't worth it. I ended up having to pay more than what I would have paid had I bought it in the UK. Now, what I'm saying is, is that depending on who the um, item reaches or who's dealing with your item determines on whether or not that person is going to um, say, OK, I'm going to let this one slide through or not, or whether they're going to exploit the situation. I don't know whether or not duty is payable on a phone, because sometimes, depending on what the item is, means that duty is not payable. I know when I used to get wigs from... Um, America, if you used to say they're not real or if you used to say they're under a certain amount, you didn't have to pay anything. The same with China. But the fact of the matter is, is if it happens to come through and the customs get hold of it, you end up paying more than, it, than it's worth, to be honest. So I, I know there's corruption everywhere, but, you know, it really is the luck of the draw. Now, what I don't agree with apparently is that um, a friend was coming through um, Jamaican airport she had two phones now I always carry two phones I have a business phone and I have a personal phone this lady had two phones and apparently they confiscated one and they said that she had to pay um, how much was it 25,000 Jamaican dollars that's like 150 pounds if she wanted her phone back Apparently, the, the um, young man is saying that they're really discouraging people from taking stuff from the UK in, and giving it to people into Jamaica. They're making it as difficult as possible. I don't know why they'd want to do that unless it's bad mind, as they usually say. And, you know, they don't want somebody to get something for what they think is for nothing. You know what I mean? It's 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 not right. You know, it makes it difficult because whereas you would normally like to send gifts to Jamaica, you're reluctant. I have a friend who ordered some tea, some herbal tea from Jamaica, wants it coming from the root, you know what I mean? Wants a genuine article. So he um, orders some um, herbal tea and when it comes over, the, the packet is open, there's nothing in the bag. So then he asked for it again. The second time it comes, he's, he's asked to pay about £50 
duty or customs or whatever it was. Because he wanted the tea, he ha he paid it. But the fact of the matter is, he ends up paying more than what the um, the items are worth. So whether it's going into Jamaica or coming out of Jamaica or whether it's America, whichever country it is, but I think it's more to do with Jamaica. They seem to be putting tariffs on stuff that you send and stuff, stuff that comes over. And once again, it's to discourage people from sending stuff to Jamaica and people from Jamaica sending stuff here so that they're limiting their business capacity. They're limiting the way they, they get things over. And it's not fair, really, because, I, you know, a lot of people have lost money and the people in Jamaica can't afford um, the customs duty taxes. They can't afford that. What is the point of sending over a cheap phone and then having to pay so much to get it? It doesn't make any sense. And then that means that that phone, they asked him for the receipt. He sent the receipt showing it was only £30. Then they said they want to see the bank statement showing that he actually bought it for £30. What kind of crap is that? £30? It's not like he was money laundering. I could understand if it was like 6000 or £10,000. But you're talking about 30 quid. And you want to see a bank statement proving that this gentleman bought it legit. That is not right. But there's so much ism schism going on. And it's not, it's just unfair and it's unfortunate. But it's all designed to separate people. Do you see what's going on, peeps? You know, we have people who, um, who were traveling to um, from Jamaica back to America. They don't want them back. So what is that telling people who are in America? It's telling them, don't leave. So you're trapped. Then they have people trying to send gifts to Jamaica. And then there being there's obstacles in people receiving those gifts. What is that telling the people outside Jamaica? Don't send gifts. That's what it's doing. It's isolating everyone. They're isolating Jamaica. Jamaica probably doesn't even realise it. You know, the indigenous people in Jamaica, they probably don't even realise it. But it's, it's about isolation. They don't want people to get anything. They don't want people to receive gifts. And they don't want people sending uh, stuff from Jamaica out. I mean, it's just not right. I mean, people should be able to do what they can to live. And if you want to send a gift, you send a gift. And if that gentleman who wanted to send tea, he should be able to send tea without it costing my friend an arm and a leg to pick it up. And he's doing that to support his people. You know what I mean? But then it will discourage him because next time he's going to think, well, boy, do I really want to spend 50 quid on top of the amount for the tea in order to get the tea? So it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, peeps. People are just trying to hold people back. But as long as you're aware that, it, you know, there's a reason behind all of these things happening. It is about separate separating because they say divide and rule. If you can't get um, anything to a country and if it can't get, you can't receive anything from a country, you're reliant on that country for everything that you need and everything that you want. So those people in Jamaica, in America, unless they're ready to move to America, they're trapped. Same with the UK. Unless you're ready to go back to Jamaica for good, you're trapped. So I don't know what else to say, folks, but I hope um, the, ma the man I did the video for, I hope this, is, this helps um, bring it out into open because I think that's what he wanted me to do. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.